Snapshots Adventure 3 Review. So we start off at Spawn Island. Much smaller than Venture 2's Spawn Island. Honestly looks pretty decent. It takes on some kind of moon shape with snow on it, a few palm trees. Very familiar to what Chapter 3's Spawn Island looks like. Now over to the main island. This island has over 9 pier ice to it and is fully snowed due to it releasing in Christmas time. The best thing I like about this map more than Venture 2 is how small it is. The problem I had with Venture 2 was the size and lack of action. I usually found myself alone in some places on the map because of the map size. I found it pretty hard to find other players which made the most of the match feel boring and not that interesting. Sure, it could be fixed by having a storm and having way more players on the map, but who is going to be wasting their time trying to find a single player on the other side of the entire map. I like Venture Free's small map more because of how simple it is and makes it way easier to find people to have epic build fights with. Anyways, let's review the POIs. The first POI that we drop at is Boogie Burbs, a small town POI with a restaurant and a disco building, with a capture point and a garage, with a gas station, along with other buildings around the town. Not gonna lie, very decent POI. 7.2 out of 10 for me. While I was looting Boogie Burbs, I came across a chest. Yes, a chest in snapshots. I guess Jack has listened to me in that one video. Honestly, I prefer chests over this, but that's totally Jack has. Alrighty, on to the next POI, Cranky Cliffs. A pirate lagoon themed POI. Inspired by Lazy Lagoon, of course. There's loads of trees cliffs, and loads of really detailed pirate buildings as well. I'm gonna give this POI a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Up next, we have Rickety <laughs> Rickety Ravine. My legs are literally burning right now, please help. A mine POI with a few cabins and stuff, with mine carts and caves to explore. Sort of empty, but... Not to a point that there's nothing there at all. I'll give this a 6.8 out of 10 for me. After recovering from that fateful fall, we go over to the next POI, Risky Redux. Just a smaller version of Risky Reels. A POI that Jackus for some reason keeps reusing. Pretty decent POI still. I would give it a decent 7 out of 10 for me. Next up, we have Serene Speedway. Probably one of the biggest POIs that is on this map right now. It's got loads of structures around, palm trees, roads in it too. Really like the details of this POI. I'm gonna give it a, an 8 out of 10. Now let's head over to the next POI. Misty Meadows? Oh, a chapter 2 POI. Interesting. But a pretty unoriginal POI though. Do I still give this a rating? I think I should. I'll give it a 7.8 out of 10 for me. On to the next POI. Anarchy Abodes. Another small POI with craggy cliffs type houses, with a simple gas station and a lighthouse in the distance. Overall, I'll be giving this POI a 7.2 out of 10. After that, we have Shield Shoal, a simple slopey docks POI on the bottom left corner of the island. Honestly, very original and simple. I would give it a 7.4 out of 10. And for the last POI, Cuddle Crops, a farm POI that's been completely taken over by Cuddle Team Leader. And for my ratings for this POI will be 7.3 out of 10. Now that's all the POIs. My general overview for this map will be 8 out of 10 for me, I believe. A total improvement to what Venture 2 was like. Now that's it for this video. I know it was a lot shorter than the other ones. That is because when I got in a game, no one was playing, so sorry, no gameplay. Anyways, here's the map code. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn notifications on, hit the like button. You can even consider using creator code Slayer. And yeah, guys, peace.